The Ballad of the Northern Lights by Robert Service. One of the down and out, that's me. Stare at me well, I stare. Stare and shrink, say you wouldn't think that I was a millionaire. Look at my face, it's crimped and gouged. One of them death mask things. Don't seem the sort of man, do I, as might be the pal of kings. Slouching along in smelly rags, a bleary-eyed no-good bum. A night of the hollow needle pard spewed from the sodden slum. Look me all over from head to foot. How much would you think I was worth? A dollar, a dime, a nickel? Why, I'm the wealthiest man on earth. No, don't you think that I'm off my base? You'll sing a different tune. If only you'll let me spin my yarn. Come over to this saloon. Wet my throat, it's dry as chalk, and sing as how it's you. I'll tell the tale of a northern trail, and so help me God, it's true. I'll tell of the howling wilderness and the haggard Arctic heights, of a reckless vow that I made and how I staked the northern lights. Remember the year of the big stampede and the trail of 98, when the eyes of the world were turned to the north and the hearts of many late. Hearts of the old daredevil breed, thrilled at the wondrous strike, And to every man who could hold a pan came the message, up and hike. Well, I was there with the best of them, and I knew I would not fail. You wouldn't believe it to see me now, but wait till you've heard my tale. You've read of the trail of 98, but it's woe no man may tell. It was all of a piece and a whole yard wide, and the name of the brand was Hell. We heard the call, and we staked our all. We were plungers playing blind, and no man cared how his neighbor fared, and no man looked behind. For a ruthless greed was born of need, and the weakling went to the wall. And a curse might avail where a prayer would fail, and the gold lust crazed us all. Bold were we, and they called us three, the unholy trinity. There was Ole Olson, the sailor Swede, and the Dago Kid and me. We were the discards of the pack, the foreloopers of unrest, reckless spirits of fierce revolt in the ferment of the West. We were bound to win, and we reveled in the hardships of the way. We staked our ground, and our hopes were crowned, and we hoisted out the pay. We were rich in a day beyond our dreams. It was gold from the grassroots down. But we weren't used to such sudden wealth, and there was the siren town. We were crude and careless frontiersmen, with much in us of the beast. We could bear the famine worthily, but we lost our heads at the feast. The town looked mighty bright to us, with a bunch of dust to spend. And nothing was half too good them days, and everyone was our friend. Whining meant more than mining then, and life was a dizzy whirl. Gambling and dropping chunks of gold down the neck of a dance hall girl. Till we went clean mad, it seems to me, and we squandered our last poke. And we sold our claim when we found ourselves one bitter morning broke. The Dago kid, he dreamed a dream of his mother's aunt who died. And the dawn light dim, she came to him, and she stood by his bedside. And she said, go forth to the highest north till a lonely trail ye find. Follow it far and trust your star and fortune will be kind. But I jeered at him and then there came the sailor Swede to me. And he said, I dreamed of my sister's son who croaked at the age of three. From the herd of dead he sneaked and said, seek you an arctic trail. Tis pale and grim by the polar rim, but seek and ye shall not fail. And lo, that night I too did dream of my mother's sister's son. And he said to me, by the Arctic Sea, there's a treasure to be won. Follow and follow a lone moose trail till you come to a valley grim. On the slope of the lonely watershed that borders the polar brim. Then I woke my pals and soft we swore by the mystic silver flail. T'was the hand of fate and tomorrow straight we would seek the lone moose trail. We watched the groaning ice wrench free, crash on with a hollow din. Men of the wilderness were we, freed from the taint of sin. The mighty river snatched us up, and it bore us swift along. The days were bright, and the morning light was sweet with jeweled song. We pulled and lined up nameless streams, portaged o'er hill and plain. We burnt our boat to save the nails and built our boat again. We guessed and groped north ever north, with many a twist and turn. We saw ablaze in the deathless days the splendid sunsets burn. Where soundless lakes where the grayling makes a rush at the clumsy fly, by bluffs so steep that the hard-hit sheep fall sheer from out the sky. By lilied pools where the bull moose cools and wallows in huge content. 
by rocky lairs where the pig-eyed bears peered at our tiny tent. Through the black canyon's angry foam we hurled to dreamy bars, and round in a ring the dog-nosed peaks bayed to the mocking stars. Spring and summer and autumn went, the sky had a tallow gleam, yet north and ever north we pressed to the land of our golden dream. So we came at last to a tundra vast and dark and grim and lone, and there was the little lone moose trail, and we knew it for our own. By Muskeg Hollow and Tussock, it wandered endlessly. Sorry of heart and sore of foot, weary men were we. The short-lived sun had a leaden glare, and the darkness came too soon. And stationed there with a solemn stare was the pinched anemic moon. Silence and silver and solitude, till it made you dumbly shrink. And you thought to hear with an outward ear the things you thought to think. Oh, it was wild and weird and wan and ever in camp o' nights. We would watch and watch the silver dance of the mystic northern lights. And soft they danced from the polar sky and swept in primrose haze. And swift they pranced with their silver feet and pierced with a blinding hay blaze. They danced a cotillion in the sky. They were rose and silver shod. It was not good for the eyes of man. T'was a sight for the eyes of God. It made us mad and strange and sad, and the gold whereof we dreamed was all forgot, and our only thought was of the lights that gleamed. Oh, the tundra sponge, it was golden brown, and some was a bright blood red, and the reindeer moss gleamed here and there like the tombstones of the dead. And in and out and around about the little trail ran clear, and we hated it with a deadly hate, and we feared with a deadly fear. And the skies of night were alive with light, with a throbbing, thrilling flame. Amber and rose and violet, opal and gold it came. It swept the sky like a giant scythe, it quivered back to a wedge. Argently bright, it cleft the night with a wavy golden edge. Pennants of silver waved and streamed, lazy banners unfurled. Sudden splendors of sabers gleamed, lightning javelins were hurled. There in our awe we crouched and saw with our wild uplifted eyes charge and retire the hosts of fire in the battlefield of the skies. But all things come to an end at last, and the muskeg melted away, and frowning down to bar our path a muddle of mountains lay, and a gourd sheared up in granite walls, and the moose trail crept betwixt. T'was as is the earth had gaped too far, and her stony jaws were fixed. Then the winter fell with a sudden swoop, and the heavy clouds sagged low, and earth and sky were blotted out in a whirl of driving snow. We were climbing up a glacier in the neck of a mountain pass, when the Dago kid slipped down and fell into a deep crevasse. When we got him out, one leg hump limp, and his brow was wreathed with pain, and he says, "'Tis badly broken, boys, and I'll never walk again.'" It's death for all if ye linger here, and that's no cursed lie. Go on, go on, while the trail is good, and leave me down to die. He raved and swore, but we tended him with our uncouth, clumsy care. The campfire gleamed, and he gazed and dreamed with a fixed and curious stare. Then all at once he grabbed my gun, and he put it to his head, and he says, I'll fix it for you, boys. Them are the words he said. So we sewed him up in a canvas sack, and we slung him to a tree. And the stars like needles stabbed our eyes, and woeful men were we. And on we went on our woeful way, wrapped in a daze of dream. And the northern lights and the crystal nights came forth with a mystic gleam. They danced and they danced the devil dance over the naked snow. And soft they rolled like a tide up shoaled with a ceaseless ebb and flow. They rippled green with a wondrous sheen, they fluttered out like a fan. They spread with a blaze of rose-pink rays never yet seen of man. They writhed like a brood of angry snakes, hissing and sulfur pale. Then swift they changed to a dragon vast, lashing a cloven tail. It seemed to us, as we gazed aloft with an everlasting stare, the sky was a pit of bale and dread, and a monster reveled there. We climbed the rise of a hogback range that was desolate and drear, when the sailor Swede had a crazy fit and he got to talking queer. He talked of his home in Oregon and the peach trees all in bloom and the fern head high and the topaz sky and the forest scented gloom. 
He talked of the sins of his misspent life, and then he seemed to brood. And I watched him there like a fox a hare, for I knew it was not good. And sure enough, in the dim dawn light, I missed him from the tent. And the fresh trail broke through the crusted snow, and I knew not where it went. But I followed it o'er the seamless waste, and I found him at shut of day. Naked there as a newborn babe, so I left him where he lay. Day after day was sinister, and I fought fierce-eyed despair. And I clung to life, and I struggled on, I knew not why nor where. I packed my grub in short relays, and I cowered down in my tent. And the world around was purged of sound like a frozen continent. Day after day was dark as death, but ever and ever at nights, with a brilliancy that grew and grew blazed up the northern lights. They rolled around with a soundless sound like softly bruised silk. They poured into the bowl of the sky with a gentle flow of milk. An eager pulsing violet, their wheeling chariots came, or they poised above the polar rim like a coronal of flame. From depths of darkness fathomless, their lancing rays were hurled like the all-combining searchlights of the navies of the world. There on the roof pole of the world that was as one bewitched I gazed and howled and groveled like a beast at the, as the awful splendors blazed. My eyes were seared, yet thralled I peered through the park a hood nigh blind. But I staggered on to the lights that shone and never I looked behind. There is a mountain round and low that lies by the polar rim. And I climbed its height in a whirl of light and I peered o'er its jagged brim. And there in a crater deep and vast, ungained, unguessed of men, the mystery of the Arctic world was flashed into my ken. For there these poor dim eyes of mine beheld the sight of sights. The hollow ring was the source and spring of the mystic northern lights. Then I staked that place from crown to base, and I hit the homeward trail. Ah, man, it was good, though my eyes were blurred, and I crawled like a sickly snail. In that vast white world where the silent sky communes with the silent snow, in hunger and cold and misery I wandered to and fro. But the Lord took pity on my pain, and he led me to the sea, and some ice-bound whalers heard my moan, and they fed and sheltered me. They fed the feeble scarecrow thing that stumbled out of the wild, with a ravaged face of a mask of death and the wandering wits of a child. A craven, cowering bag of bones that once had been a man. They tended me and they brought me back to the world and here I am. Some say that the northern lights are the glare of the Arctic ice and snow. And some that it's electricity and nobody seems to know. But I'll tell you now and if I lie may my lips be stricken dumb. It's a mine, a mine of the precious stuff that men call radium. It's a million dollars a pound, they say, and there's tons and tons in sight. You can see it gleam in a golden stream in the solitudes of night. And it's mine, all mine, and say, if you have a hundred plunks to spare, I'll let you have the chance of your life. I'll sell you a quarter share. You turn it down, well, I'll make it ten, seeing as you are my friend. Nothing doing, say, don't be hard. Have you got a dollar to lend? Just a dollar to help me out. I know you'll treat me right. I'll do as much for you some day. God bless you, sir. Good night.